Hey guys, what's happening? Welcome to another episode of Seb's SMS. As usual, I'm sending you this message, reading the room. I want you and I need you to become an expert. I need you to master how to read the room. So guys, if you want to know how, I'm going to give you four tips to master the art of reading the room. I told you we're into communication and everything. So you know what? Stay tuned. Let's go. Saturday morning session. I'm sending you this message. You better catch it. Let's go. Sebastian Baton is now very much the Saturday morning session. Something my people talk to me quickly, real quick, real quick. Saturday morning session. How are you? Communication, leadership, everything around that. Labels, we breaking it all down. But today, I want you to listen to me. I want you to listen. Listen to me carefully. And I'm going to try, I'm going to make sure you receive my message. How do you read the room? I need you to, whenever, wherever you go, whenever you get somewhere, I need you to read the room. What does that mean? Read the room helps you. That does help you to adjust in real time to make sure your communication is clear. Let me say that again. Reading the room helps you to adjust in real time to make sure your communication is clear and we we spoke about it communication is key we can communicate through different ways but guys here's what i want to tell you for me when you read the room you know you have to first in order to be good at it you got to observe the room observe it you know like on the football pitch it's like when you get into the a dressing room I need you to get in. It's like on the pitch. I want you to be like that. Observe. Your head has to be moving. Not too in an obvious way. But you got to scan. Scan what you're looking for. You got to look for people's body language. We spoke about it. People's body language. What does that tell you? What are the clues? The cues that you're getting. In order for you to have an advantage to make sure that regardless how you got into that room in the first place you can adjust observe the room scan please you're gonna get so much information from people body language energy that you're gonna be better and you're gonna be able to communicate and to get the best out of this meeting situation that you're in second control how much you talk I told you, the communication, there's different ways. There's the verbal one. Wherever you get in, in, no matter the room you're getting in, right? And the room can be a conversation with somebody, with a group of people, a dressing room. Control how much you're talking. You got two ears and one mouth. Two ears, one mouth. What does that mean? That means you can listen twice as much that you can talk. Being silent, I'm not asking you to be silent, but control how much you talk. Just pay attention, you know what? Let the other make the talking to start with. Read the room. You're going to gather so much information in order for you to be the best. Third one, I want you to contextualize your observation. Okay, then. This is where your own emotion, emotional intelligence, and we're going to make a, a big, big, big SMS about it. But let me touch about it a little bit. Emotional intelligence, your own emotion. How do you control your emotion according to the observation that you got? I need you to be more aware because now you're aware about the way you feel. I need you to contextualize what you've observed and pair it with your emotion and other people's emotion. You got to see who's smiling, who's not smiling, who, you know, is being aggressive or not. Don't get triggered by that. Read the room in order for you to get the best out of that situation. You can do it. I'm sure you can do it. Fourth one, I need you to empower yourself. Yes, yes, yes. Empower yourself by engaging the conversation, at least towards the end. Regardless how much you want to make out of this situation, I need you to engage 
better or more than the last time you were in the same situation. Engage, engage, engage at least a little bit more. Because of what? Because in any way, shape or form, you need to have an objective before any meeting that you have. You need to know what you're trying to get out of this conversation, out of this team meeting, team building. You need to have an objective. Don't get into any situation without a goal. You have a goal, so you got to engage in order for you to get to your goal. Guys, this is my challenge of the day. When you get into that green rectangle, that represents your life and the room. Read the room. You're going to boost your communication. You're going to get better at sending the message to the people that you want them to receive. You're going to become a master of it. So guys, this is my message of the day. This is my challenge of the day. When you get into that green rectangle, that represents your life, your life only. Don't play. Take what is yours. Listen, it's yours, right? It's your right. It's your opportunity to read the room, to get better because you know what you want. And you're going to get what you want. I'm telling you, Saturday morning session, we're getting what we want. The power, the strength, the communication, the health, the wealth, the happiness, the family, the, the, the love, the money. We don't only take it. The success, we don't only take it. What are we doing? What are we doing? Talk to me. Talk to me. What are we doing? We snatch it. Ah! <laughs> you snatch it. I trust you. I got good faith in you. Get good faith into yourself. Read the room. Get more skills. You know, get more tools in your toolbox in order for you to be able to deal with any situation because you're a champion. We all champion over a team. That was your homeboy, Seb Basson, aka Baby Bass. Always here to serve you. You know, you know the drill. We're together with a team. Thumbs up, subscribe. Please subscribe. Pass it on. Bring somebody else. You know, let's let's do it together. You know what? Have a tremendous weekend. Have a good game. Love you to bits. Take what's yours. Stay safe. You're a champion. Do not forget that. Bye-bye.